Focus on Early People by Michael Benton. This is a reference book from 1995, so some of the information may be slightly out of date, and I'll just be reading the main narrative texts. You can pause on any page, and there will be links to more up-to-date resources in the uh, video description. Introduction. The search for our origins is probably as old as humanity itself, but it has only been with the birth of modern science that the story of human origins has become clearer. Some discoveries have been difficult for people to accept because they contradicted beliefs that have been held for centuries. Scientists have pieced together fragments of information to build up a picture of what early people looked like, how they walked, what they ate, and how they communicated. However, there are still huge gaps in our knowledge which scientists can fill only with guesswork. This book tells the story as we know it so far. The First Primates Humans, monkeys, and apes belong to a group of mammals called primates. The first primates appeared in the northern hemisphere about 70 million years ago. They were tree-dwelling, squirrel-like animals that bore little resemblance to modern primate species. It took another 30 million years before the first monkeys and apes evolved. Today, there are more than 180 primate species. Our Primate Relatives Modern non-human primates have large and intricate brains. They are more intelligent than other land mammals. Although most primates live in trees, apes and monkeys are like humans in many other ways. They have forward-facing eyes, and some are omnivorous. They eat both plants and meat. Most primates look after their young for a long time and teach them all the skills necessary for living a complex life. What are our origins? For thousands of years, humankind has been preoccupied by the question of our origins. Many cultures have legends explaining how and why humans were created. In the last 200 years, these have given way to scientific explanations. Evidence from fossils has convinced most scientists that human beings developed over millions of years. However, we still do not know the whole story, and there are many unanswered questions about the exact pattern of human evolution. Our first ancestors. Many scientists believe that the separate evolution of apes and humans began between 6 and 10 million years ago. The oldest discovered fossils of our human ancestors are just over 4 million years old. The fossils show that the first humans did not have large brains, but they did walk upright. Some scientists believe that there were several species living at the same time. This which is extraordinary to imagine when today there is only a single human species on the earth. The first humans. It is very difficult to identify a single line of development from Australopithecus to the first true humans called Homo. Fossil finds in Kenya show that Australopithecus, Homo habilis, and Homo erectus were all alive 1.5 million years ago. Homo habilis, who did, evolved around 2 million years ago, was the first to make tools. Homo erectus, who evolved around 1.5 million years ago, cooked food on fires and hunted large animals. Such hunting would have required detailed planning and effective communication within the group. Modern humans. Modern humans all belong to the species Homo sapiens. It is thought this species evolved in Africa about 200,000 years ago. Between 100,000 and 35,000 years ago, Europe was home to the Neanderthals, whose brain was the same size as Homo sapiens and who some scientists believe were a subspecies of Homo sapiens. The Neanderthals were gradually replaced by the Cro-Magnon peoples, Homo sapiens, who migrated to Europe from the Middle East. Movement. The Australopithecines and Homo habilis stayed in Africa, but Homo erectus and modern man, Homo sapiens, migrated to other parts of the world. Homo erectus probably spread into Asia and Europe for two reasons, climatic changes and better tools which enabled them to live in a variety of conditions. Homo sapiens probably left Africa because of a gradual increase in population. This motivated people to search for new territories in which to hunt and gather food. Food. The Australopithecines had a mainly vegetarian diet, but later humans ate increasing amounts of meat. The availability of certain foods would have been closely linked to the seasons, since there were no means of preserving foodstuffs. 
Evidence of what early humans ate comes from their tooth formation and from campsites, where archaeologists have identified seeds, leaves, and bones. 15,000-year-old Cro-Magnon cave paintings give some idea of hunting methods. Homes. The Australopithecines did not have homes. They wandered in search of food and would settle for the night in the nearest sheltered spot. The first homes were probably caves and there is evidence that Homo erectus built shelters from wood and leaves. Later humans and Neanderthals built tent-like structures out of wood and animal hides. Permanent houses came only much later, when people settled into villages. Tools. The first tool making human was Homo habilis. They made simple tools out of stone, bone, and wood. As humans developed, tool making became more and more sophisticated. Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon peoples made delicate bone needles, bows and arrows, and axes. Tools were often the first evidence to be found when scientists began e excavating a site that may have been inhabited by early people. Death and Burial The Australopithecines probably did not bury their dead, but later humans had burial ceremonies. Some archaeological sites show that the dead person was carefully laid out before burial, and sometimes provided with food and other objects which were probably meant for use in the afterlife. The oldest evidence of this is a 100,000-year-old grave of a Homo sapiens child found in Israel whose body has been buried with a deer skull. Social groupings. Monkeys and apes live in family groups, and so did Australopithecines. As humans evolves, evolved, groups became more organized. People worked together to build shelters and to hunt. Larger cooperative groups would have moved together to find new hunting grounds. It is from these nomadic groups of people that modern tribes eventually developed. The way forward. Much of our understandings of early humans has come in the past 10 or 20 years of study. Advances in the field of genetics and more accurate carbon dating methods have provided a great deal of valuable information, and there have been some exciting new finds in Africa. However, there are still large gaps in our knowledge. The oldest human ancestors have yet to be found, and there are still many unanswered questions about how early people lived and behaved towards each other. Important Discoveries Before 1800, first, uh, before 1800, flint tools were found in gravel beds and caves in many countries. They were thought to be the work of early peoples, but no one quite knew what they looked like. 1856 Workmen found a complete skeleton in the Neander Valley in Germany, so it was named Neanderthal Man. Some people thought this was a primitive caveman, others thought it was a Russian soldier who had got lost. 1865. The first discovery of Stone Age art, carving of a mammoth in bone, was found in France. This proved, for the first time, that humans had lived side by side with an extinct animal. 1868. The remains of Cro-Magnon peoples were found in France and L. Lartet, by L. Lartet. The remains were of modern-looking people, and they proved the long history of humans. These were also seen as the makers of the most of the advanced kinds of stone tools that had been found before. 1879, Stone Age cave paintings were found in Spain. These proved that early people had been a keen artistic, had had a keen artistic sense, as well as religious beliefs. They also showed aspects of clothing and hunting. 1891, the discovery of Java Man, a form of Homo erectus by Eugene Dubois. This was regarded as the missing link, a kind of ape man. 1912, the hoax of the century. Piltdown Man was found in England, and for a time, this was seen as the true human ancestor. In 1953, it was finally shown to be a fake. 1921, the second famous Homo erectus population in China, Peking Man, was found. Many specimens came to light, and they were found with remnants of fire and tools. 1924. The skull of a baby from Taong's South Africa was announced as the first Australopithecine fossil. This was a true missing link, a human being which walked upright but had an ape brain. 1959. The discovery of Homo habilis in the Olduvai Gorge of Tanzania by Louis Leakey. This is the oldest species of Homo, and Leakey found evidence that these peoples used very simple tools, 
the oldest tool use in the world. 1963, the first studies of human and ape molecules showed that humans and chimps had shared an ancestor only five million years ago. This was not accepted at first, since the fossils seemed to show a separate history of 20 million years. The molecular evidence has turned out to be correct. The most recent famous discovery, Lucy, a small woman of the species Australopithecus afarensis, was found by Don Johansson in Ethiopia. This is the oldest human species known. 1984, a remarkable, nearly complete skeleton of a Homo erectus body was found by Richard Leakey in West Turkana in Kenya. This is one of the most complete specimens of an early human. That was Focus on Early People by Michael Benton. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more books, stories, and lessons. And if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about, leave us a message in the comments.